Have you ever woken up one morning and wondered, what shall I do today? Shall I have fun or shall I help build a quantum computer? Well, worry about that no more. Now you can do both with our new app, Dikadoku. This is based on a grid of numbers, just like Freeze or 2048 or Sudoku. But it's not just some random grid of random numbers made up by some random person. This is a quantum error correcting code. It's something we would use inside a quantum computer to protect information from noise. The effect of noise is to sm uh, cause small groups of numbers, which in this case add up to a multiple of 10. So we have a 5 and a 5, a uh, 7 and a 3, and here we have a 9, a 7 and a 4, which add up to 20, a 2, a 1 and a 7, which add up to 10. Now if we move these numbers into each other, they add up. So probably the best example is to add the 7 to the 1, it gives us 8. If we add the 9 to the 7, it's a little bit more interesting. We would usually expect that to add up to 16, but a 10 disappears. All multiples of 10 disappear. So it just gives us a 6, and we can add that to 4. That makes a 10, so they disappear. The 8 and the 2 disappear. 7 and the 3 disappear, and so on. As time goes on, well, every 5 moves we make, actually, uh, more numbers will appear. These will either form new groups, or they will change old groups, making them bigger or making them change shape. What we have to do is keep track of these numbers. We have to keep them as tidy as possible because doing so corrects the errors and allows us to do a quantum computation. Now for codes such as this, which are quite complicated, we don't know the best way to do this as scientists. What we need is a good method to do it, which we call a decoding algorithm, but we don't know what the best decoding algorithm is. So what we want is for you to help us out. We want you to play this game, find a good way of getting a high score, which just means you last a long time, uh, and tell us all about it. You don't have to tell us all about it. This is your own research. You can do what you want with it. You can, you can keep it secret and sell it to Microsoft if you want. We don't steal any data off you to determine what you've done. We completely rely on you doing your own research and telling us all about it. Now you keep on playing until the errors get so messy that the quantum computer decides it has to give up. Then it turns into game over. This means that a group has gotten so big that it spans either from top to bottom or left to right. And it looks like I'm doing pretty well at the moment. I've just got over my high score. So uh, I've done better than the previous time when I tried to record this video. Uh, there has been a lot of previous times, I have to admit to you. Um, if we want to force it to do a game over, what we can do is take the 6 and the 4. Obviously this is a small group, but because it was caused by an error here, we can cause additional errors just by being an idiot. Obviously we have to move this 4 into the 6. If we went the other way, then there's lots of errors just caused by us being an idiot rather than anything else. And once I move it here, it's going to go from left to right and bam, we're dead. All of the good numbers which didn't cause the game over faded out, leaving us just with this group that, that did cause us to die. Here I've got a score of 73. That's a relatively low score. What you need to find is a good method to come up with lots of uh, good numbers in the hundreds, maybe even in the 200s. It's a little bit harder on the iPhone than the iPad, but if you come up with a good method, please tell us all about it, and most importantly, have fun contributing to science. If you want to know more, check out our blog. It's uh, www.dikadoku.blogspot.ch. Have fun and do some science.